electric field intensity due to infinite line charge this is one of the very very important topic from the emf so here we have to find electric field intensity electric field intensity field intensity due to due to infinite line charge infinite line charge so electric field intensity due to infinite line charge the standard equation explains rho l by 2 pi epsilon r into unit vector right so this is the standard equation standard form line electric field intensity due to infinite line charge now we have to derive this equation using coulomb's law and using gauss law so two different processes are there using coulomb's law and one more processor is using gauss law so first of all we will go through the using coulomb's law so coulomb's law from the coulomb's law electric field intensity standard equation is defined like this de is equal to de is equal to differential electric field intensity is equal to dq by 4 pi epsilon r square into unit vector the unit vector i'm writing like this u12 right so de is equal to dq by 4 pi epsilon r square into unit vector this is the standard electric field intensity equation from the coulomb's law now in this equation first of all we have to find the dq first of all we have to find out dq change in charge and later we have to write a unit vector that is u12 unit vector and later distance later we have to substitute all these values in this equation then we will get uh, this equation electric field intensity due to infinite line charges rho l by 2 pi epsilon r so to derive this equation purpose first of all i am taking one infinite line charge the charge is distributed on the line the length of the line is infinite then immediately we have to take a line charge density rho l explains the line charge density right total charge by length right so for the purpose here i am assuming one coordinate system the coordinate system with cons consists of x axis y axis and z axis rectangular coordinate system i'm taking now right so this axis x axis z axis and this is y axis rectangular coordinate system then uh, from the given topic here electric field intensity we have to find out electric field intensity is nothing but the force acting on unit pulse to charge the force acting on unit pulse to charge so for that purpose i am placing that unit pass to charge on x axis with certain distance here this distance is i am assuming here r this distance is r right from here to here it has some distance this is r here now i will write this formula here capital r right so from origin to this point the one point is located here this point is located on x axis Uh, with certain distance then the point becomes here zero comma sorry or comma x axis coefficient r comma y comma z so x coefficient is r and y coefficient is zero and z coefficient is zero so then the point is r zero zero then the vector vector equation of this is r into a x direction r into a x right and electric field intensity due to infinite line charge now we have to take infinite line charge the charge is distributed on the line the length of the line is infinite line now i'm placing that infinite line length charge on z axis so this is infinite line charge here right so the charge is distributed on this line like this either pass through charge or negative charge the charge is distributed on the line the length of the line is infinity line minus infinity plus infinity which is defined from minus infinity to plus infinity it should be like this that infinite length of the charge, that infinite line charge i am placing on z axis now I'm placing on z axis 
Now the z-axis limits are from minus infinity to plus infinity. Then we have to find the force acting on this point due to this infinite line charge here. So directly from infinite line uh, finding force is not possible. That's why here I'm considering one differential length here. So here I'm assuming some differential uh, differential length, right? From this point to I am finding here force on this point here. The force on this point. From this point to this point. That's why there I have assumed differential length dl. Then we can write total charge equation. What is the total charge now? dq is equal to. dq is equal to general equation explains the rho l into dl. Rho l into dl because the line uh, the charge is distributed on the line then we have to write line charge density line charge density is total charge by length then the total charge dq is equal to rho l into dl differential length now uh, i have placed this infinite line charge on z axis that's why here i'm writing the dl is equal to dz so directly we have to write like this rho l into dz this part also finished and later we have to find out unit vector to find the unit vector first of all we want your distance vector distance vector so the distance vector is from this point to this point this point vector is already defined what is the vector here r into ax r into ax ax is a unit vector that explains direction and what is the magnitude here r and this differential length i have assumed in particular distance that distance is now i'm taking here z then the point of this is 0 comma 0 comma z the point of this is 0 comma 0 comma z then what is the vector here z into z is there in which direction z direction is there that's why we have to write like this z into a z then one vector is here z into a z and this vector is r into x now we have to find out the distance vector on this point then immediately it gives the this vector minus this vector so distance vector r12 is equal to one vector is r a x minus another vector is here z a z so this gives the distance vector this sir vector is also finished and later we have to find out unit vector so what is unit vector unit vector explains the distance vector by magnitude of the that right so distance vector by magnitude of this vector that purpose i'm writing this one now r into ax minus z into az by distance uh, magnitude magnitude means here we have to write like this square root of r square plus z square finally which gives the unit vector here so unit vector is finished and dq also finished and later we have to write uh, this r here r is nothing but magnitude this becomes again square root of r square plus z square substitute all these equations in in the standard equation here so d is equal to d e is equal to dq what is dq here rho l into dz by by 4 pi epsilon r square here r square is there r is nothing but this one square root of r square plus z square whole square into unit vector u12 unit vector is this one right so right here r into ax minus z into az by square root of r square plus z square is there so i have substituted all these parameters in this then we have to simplify that for simplification purpose here we have to find out a e capital e is there so but here d is there differential electric field density then we have to cancel the d part here to cancel the differential purpose, uh, we have to apply integration on both sides. Integration on both sides. Uh, which type of integration? One time or two times or three times. That means line integral or surface integral, volume integral. That is depends on this one. So this is only one parameter is there. So line integral is enough. Right? So apply both sides line integral. Apply line integral. Line integral on both sides. So now we have to apply line integral on both sides, then it becomes here E. 
electric field intensity E is equal to this cancels and here constant terms I am writing outside constant terms are here 4 pi epsilon 1 by 4 pi epsilon these are constant terms and rho L is also constant right line charge and C that is also I am writing outside in the remaining part I am writing like this line integral this line integral uh, with respect to which axis z axis with respect to z and z axis limits are here from minus infinity to plus infinity because that uh, line uh, charge is here we have to take infinite line charge so z axis limits are from minus infinity to plus infinity minus infinity to plus infinity dz dz by so here r square plus z square root is there and here root is there and whole square also there that's why directly I'm writing now r square plus z square whole square and here three times is there so three by two three by two I'm writing directly and into unit vector r into ax minus z into az now from this I'm assuming here az part is zero here az part is not considered because see here I have wrote this vector from this point only but what we have to find out here the uh, electric field intensity due to infinite line charge so due to this complete charge we have to find the electric field intensity on this point whenever uh, some force acts on like this acts on this point like this and similarly another force acts from this side also is there that's why finally this axis and this axis these two are cancels here just I'm drawing here like this infinite line charge is here and one point is located here right one point uh, uh, force acts on this point it should be in this direction and similarly some other force acts from this side negative axis side then it is in this direction then what happens here this direction and this direction both are cancels then finally which gives the resultant direction is which direction x direction that's why unit uh, uh, vector that z direction representation is not assumed so not uh, required that is zero because here the line charge is placed on z axis that's why z direction it does not give so a z part is zero if a z is zero then the remaining equation becomes here e is equal to rho l by 4 pi epsilon line integral from minus infinity to plus infinity r into dz by this r I have wrote here r square plus z square whole power 3 by 2 into unit vector in which direction ax direction now this part we have to simplify here to simplify this purpose internally two variables are there one is r and another is z but this integration is defined with respect to z representation then we have to equate those right so to equate that purpose here uh, again I'm taking this diagram so this uh, this the, this length is z length and this length is r length now this is a distance here so these three just like axis one right angle triangle from this here I'm assuming angle is here so one angle is defined like this from that I'm writing one standard equation tan theta is equal to opposite side z by adjacent side r now then z becomes r into tan theta so now I want to replace z with this equation z is equal to r into tan theta then the complete equation in terms of r then simplification is very easy then immediately you have to replace this one also dz also right that purpose apply both side differentiation then it becomes z dz into r into secant square theta d theta so dz also replacement is required so dz apply both side differentiation then dz becomes r into secant square theta into d theta then the complete expression is defined in terms of theta representation so theta limits also changes if the z value is minus infinity then the theta becomes minus 5 by 2 substituting this z is minus infinity we want here when it becomes minus infinity if the theta is minus 5 by 2 and similarly z is infinity infinite so the theta value becomes plus 5 by 2 now I'm replacing the complete form in this electric field intensity is equal to rho L by 4 pi epsilon the integration is changes from minus 5 by 2 to plus 5 by 2 because now the integration is with respect to theta is there 
and this r i am writing as it is by and r square plus here z z is replace this one then it becomes r square into tan square theta whole power 3 by 2 whole power 3 by 2 and replace dz dz with uh, this complete equation r into secant square theta into d theta in which direction ax direction then simplify this take r square common from this so if you take r square common then r square and uh, here 2 is there so 2 to get cancels then it gives the r cube and in numerator r square is there r square by r cube becomes 1 by r so rho l by 4 pi epsilon r is i'm writing outside and the remaining part minus 5 by 2 to plus 5 by 2 here secant square theta is there 1 plus tan square theta if, if r square theta is common uh, common means it, if it is outside then the remaining parameter becomes here 1 plus tan square theta 1 plus tan square theta is secant square theta so square this two cancels secant cube theta is there here secant square and here secant cube then it becomes 1 by secant theta just simplify that then you will get this one 1 by secant theta with respect to theta 1 by secant theta is nothing but cos theta so this is acts as cos theta integration of cos theta is minus sin theta so sin theta right then write that one rho l by 4 pi epsilon r right integration of cos theta is sin theta sin theta apply the limits from Minus five by two to plus five by two. So plus five by two substituted here. Sine five by two. Sine five by two value is one. Minus sine minus five by two minus one. So one minus of minus one becomes here two. Then these two cancels. Direction also there. Write the direction as it is. So two two get cancelled. Finally, which becomes here. Rho l by two pi. epsilon r with direction ax direction this is electric field intensity due to infinite line charge electric field intensity due to infinite line charge is rho l by 2 pi epsilon r into unit vector here rho l is line charge density of that infinite line charge so line charge density r explains the distance distance from this charge line charge to this point here so if the distance is increases electric field intensity is decreases so both are inversely proportional here r and capital e both are inversely proportional line charge density is increases electric field intensity is increases now here uh, we will get this direction unit unit vector direction is ax direction because here i have assumed that point on x axis If you take that point on y axis then it gives the ay direction. If you take that point on xy plane then it gives the x direction and y direction that is depends on the point assumption. So okay point position. That's why here I have wrote ay direction that is depends on the point position. This is one of the standard formula electric field intensity due to infinite line charge. Here I have derived this complete equation using coulomb's law. And similarly we have to derive this complete expression this complete expression using gauss law so if you want to derive any expression using gauss law immediately we have to take the total enclosed charge is equal to surface integral of d dot ds equation and if you want to derive uh, any equation from the coulomb's law then we have to take this equation d is equal to d cube by 4 pi epsilon r square into unit vector so please take this now